Monday morning, here comes Luke with that same bored look on his face. It's going to be another boring day for him, I guess. Luke's such a strange fellow. Doesn't talk much, but when he does, it's pretty funny. I find it quite odd that he doesn't move his arm when he walks. It's just creepy and unnatural. Another thing is his sideburns. They're just god-awful. I mean, is he trying to be like Elvis? Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Back to business. First period rolls around, and there is Luke just minding his own business like usual. He's hardly ever have a conversation with me, but I feel like we have a lot in common. I feel connected to him in a way that may seem strange, but I think I have an obsession with him. I've been following Luke around since freshman year of high school. I know a lot about him, even if I've never talked to him. I know his routine by memory. In fact, better than my own. I don't know if I want to take it all away from him, you know? I feel like he has ambition in life, something that I lack. He wants to be a doctor, but I just don't know why. Why all that school for all that stress? Anyways, here comes fifth period. Time for Luke's daily bathroom break. I'm going to sneak out and follow him. He opens the door and suspects nothing, not even a glance over the shoulder. Luke's been my obsession for so long I forgot how I'd do it. Anyways, cut the crap and get it over with. Just like I planned, it's quite thrilling. In fact, I kind of enjoyed it. Goodbye, Luke. I kind of regret that. The feeling was good, but short-lived. I don't think it'll be easy to find another like him. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll find another to invest my time in. Time to start my next victim.